Welcome to a netbook tutorial. Just wanted to show you a few things for those of you who are using the netbooks. Um, obviously you already know that we've got uh, Read Out Loud, Draft Builder, Write Out Loud, and Co-Writer. So hopefully when you use the netbook, make use of these programs because for sixth graders, that's what everyone's learning. So when you get a turn on this, if you're not going to use those programs, um, you have to give it up to somebody else so they can learn it. And when it is your turn on here, after everyone else has learned it, learn it so you can go through middle school knowing how to use it in case you ever need it. For 7th and 8th graders, 7th um, graders already know how to use it. They all got trained on it last year. And 8th graders, I'm going to show you how to make use of CoWriter because it's pretty awesome. First thing I want to show you is that a new development. Um, we got Firefox on all of these. So now you can start using Firefox if you've had any problems with um, Internet Explorer. I tried getting Google Chrome, but it gave me some error when I downloaded it, so we don't have it. So you don't have to search for anything. I know it comes up with Google, um, but just go to educatoral.com slash Moodle. Um, if you want to set that as the home page, I think you just go up here to uh, options and let's see options options will allow you to make the home page http colon slash slash ah, educatoral dot com moodle hey where'd it go enter all right then once you do that every time you launch firefox it'll go straight here so that sixth and eighth graders can use it um, so no matter where you go, 6th or 8th grade, I'll go to 8th grade, you've got uh, access, of course, to the class tutorial videos. And uh, since this doesn't have Office, you can always go to the Start menu, go to All Programs, and bring up, I think it's WordPad, somewhere around here. Uh, let's try accessories. There it is, WordPad. You can always go to WordPad. I know you can't read it, but WordPad is under the Start menu, All Programs, Accessories, WordPad. But if you don't want to use WordPad, I've got um, tutorials here. Tutorial number 12 has a session on Google Docs. I highly recommend using our Chimicum School District Google Apps account for Google Docs uh, because you can use Google Presentation to create a slideshow. You can use Google Docs to write any document. You can use Google Spreadsheets. Um, and there's also Google Drawings, which is really helpful. And here's the link to it on either the main Moodle page or the 6th and 8th grade. has a lot of important links right here, like to the social networking site, our class blog, um, class FDP info, and of course Chimicum's Google Docs. That's it right there. Now this you can use on an iPad, on a netbook, or on an iMac, so this is good for everyone to know. Um, and our class accounts, see me if you're not sure, but I'll point you down here, read that when you scroll down. It's got some really good information where it says class accounts. Again, see me if you have a question about that. So there we have Firefox. Um, something else that I put on here that's really important when you start making pictures and stuff, uh, you can, if you need to take a quick picture of yourself for something, go to Start Menu, All Programs, and if you go to Dell Webcam, you can start Webcam Central. Don't forget there's a webcam right here. Uh, if you need to film a short video of yourself for a video podcast, otherwise known as a vodcast, this is really helpful. Hey, hi, who's that? I know that man. So there we have it. Um, you've got this. You can record. And 
if you watch my tutorial on how to upload a video or pictures uh, to our class FDP. There's the camera. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks good to me. Um, then you can put this stuff on your blog. I show you how to do it. It's really fantastic. It makes your blog more than just words. So I'm going to close this because now you know it exists. And I haven't used it, so once you figure it out, you can let me know or show somebody. But the program you need to get this information up on to, your, uh, to the FTP site is Core FTP. And the way you find it is, let's go to Start Menu and click on Computer. Then we're going to go into the hard drive, the C drive, double click there. Then you're going to go to Program Files, double click Program Files. And you're looking for Core FTP. There it is, I found it. Core FTP. So once you click on that, there's an, uh, uh, the program here is that blue, it's kind of a blue circle with a little white line going through it, and it says Core FTP. I'm going to right click on that, that's over here, not the regular left click, and there's a send to. I want to send to desktop and create a shortcut. So once I do that, close this window, look what I've done. I've got a shortcut to FTP. Now FTP is like fetch on the Mac. And it's like um, FTP view on the iPads, which I have another movie for that in the video tutorials. Now it says make it your default FTP client. Yeah, I want it to be by default. It's the only one I got for you. And it says, do you want Notepad to edit all your ASCII files? Sure, you know what that means. Don't worry, just say yes. Now here's where it gets um, where you should be recognizing it. Where it says site name. Let me see if I can zoom in here. where it says site name, that's where you're going to put the ftp.educatoral.com. Um, and that's the same as the host name. This is ftp.educatoral. ftp.educatoral.com rm604 at Educatorl.com password. You know what? And boom. Okay, so when it works, it looks like this. So it'll say, I'm up here. Yeah. Uh, transferred. And what it looks like, I'm going to back this up a little bit, is that over here you've got those folders that we know we have. So if you're uploading a picture, you double click on images. If you're uploading a sound file, you go to sound files. If you're uploading a video, you go to videos. When you go into any folder, you got to pick your period, pick your group number, and then do me a favor, do not mess with the, the stuff that's there. Now here's the tricky part. The tricky part now is finding where your file is. If you're in your period, like this is in period one, documents, you should save everything into documents so that it's right there. So let's pretend this was it. When I click on it, the way I move it over, see this arrow over here? I click on that and it transfers the document from here to here that arrow right there. Well, what that means is it sent my document from this computer right here over to the server so that I can put it on my blog. Because if it's over here, it's on the internet. And that's how you do it. That's how you use Core FTP. I know it's kind of brilliant, isn't it? Um, so this works like, again, fetch on the iMac and FTP view on the um, iPads. When you're done, you close the program and it says you want to exit, you do OK, and then you're done. So if you watch the video for the Google Docs, you can use Google Docs on the netbook. And um, if you watch the video on how to use, uh, how to move, put your movies or photos onto the server, that's what I just did there with Core FTP. So you're ready to go. 
And that concludes this tutorial.